Hey dudes, today I want to talk about importing audio into Pro Tools. There's a few ways to do it, but there's one heavy recommendation for me that I think will help keep all your files together nice and neat. So let's jump right into it. So all you got to do is go to File, Import Audio. Not too bad so far. And it will bring up this Import Audio window. So I'm going to go back to this session and I have files that are at 48 kilohertz and files that are at 44.1 kilohertz. So I'm going to at first start with 44.1 since that's a different file type than what we do in sound, which is 48 kilohertz. And I'm going to show you what that means in a second. So let's say that I want to bring in this perk stem. Just click on it like this. And now you will see that it recognizes that the sample rate of the file is 44.1, but the session itself is 48. Pro Tools is kind enough to just hit you with this convert button. So all you got to do is hit convert. And now it is going to apply sample rate conversion in order to take it from 44.1 to 48. Great. You can also shift and click and highlight multiple clips at the same time hit convert and in your clips to import bin now i have several clips going at the same time and i'm good to go it is very important that you click this convert button because pro tools does want the same file type it'll do all the heavy lifting for you but like if you're importing an mp3 or an aac or any other file type just make sure that you're hitting this convert button and you'll be good to go. After that, all I have to do is hit open. And this is very important. Now you really want to make sure that the destination folder is your audio files folder of your particular project. So we're talking about import audio. That's the session that I'm in. It will automatically always default to this folder. So you don't have to think too hard about it, but just make sure you look up and that's true. You hit open again. Okay, so it processes the audio. It needed to convert it to the right file type. Now you can either put this in the clips list, which will be this window over here, and then you can drag into the track you want, or you can simply just say new track and it will create new tracks for you with these audio clips inside of them. There's also a location selector. So it can be the selection where the playhead is, the session start, for example, or you can go to a spot menu, type in, a very specific time code, hit enter, and it'll go to the, that exact moment. In this case, I'm just gonna do that, hit okay, and there you go. It brought in all the files, you're good to go. Okay, so now I wanna do this one more time, but with the proper file type, because there's a little gotcha test in here that you could accidentally mess something up and not collect all your files into the right place. So let's do this process again file import audio and remember our session is at 48 kilohertz so i just have a folder of files that are already set that way now here's the trick it automatically defaults to say add as blue and you may think oh my gosh that's the one it's highlighted i should do that the problem with doing that is it simply just links to wherever those files are. So let's say it's on a desktop of a computer. It links to that desktop. Then you walk away from that computer, you work on a laptop or something else. Now you don't have those files, they're gone. They're only on that desktop. That pathway is to just that desktop, that's it. And it did not actually copy those files into your audio files folder. So instead, I recommend you just hit this copy button. So now the clips to import are here. It says copy. There is no sample rate conversion because they're already the correct file type. I hit open. Here is my audio files folder. I hit open. I'm gonna put them on new tracks. And there we go. Now, the way that you can check your work and make sure that whatever you've imported has gotten into your audio files folder and everything is secure and in one place is to go to your finder window. So I'll command tab over there. Here's my import audio session. 
here is my audio files folder. And there we go. These are all the files that I just imported. And a big thing I like to do is the date modified stamp here. So it's telling me today at the time that I brought it in, I'm good to go because you might have a session that has files from a week ago or two weeks ago or however long you're working on a project. So sometimes it's easy just to go, oh, I'm going to sort by date modified. And there they are. Those are those clips that I just brought into the session and it verified you copied everything perfectly. Okay, so that's not too bad. File, import audio, follow the rest of the steps and you're good to go. The main thing to remember is that you just don't want to do add. If you do add, it just links to wherever that file is and does not copy it and bring it along with you into your audio files folder. That will always be the safest thing to do. So just remember convert or copy and you should be good to go. I hope that you get to use this on your future projects. And until next time, later dudes.